Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about how to open a text file in Python. Okay, so uh, to open a text file, you need definitely the name of the file that you uh, want to open. And along with that, you need an open function that is provided by the Python programming language. So to open a file, you write the keyword open, then within round brackets you write the name of the file this is a compulsory argument necessary argument because definitely you need to specify what file you want to open and there is a second optional argument which is the access mode so the access mode basically specifies for what purpose you want to open this file whether you want to open this file for reading for writing or whether you want to open it as a text file or a binary file okay so we will study about access modes in detail in the next video but as of now let's focus on the open function that is used for opening text files as well as binary files so uh, let's see how this actually works so whenever you write or you call the open function of python it will return you a file object this file object is also known as a file handle so what is this file handle this file handle is basically a link between the file and the user this once you have opened this particular file this the uh, file object that has been returned for the corresponding file will be used for any further operation that you need to perform on this specified file so whether you want to write to the file read to the file close the file anything you do in future after opening this file will be done through this file object or file handle okay so now you must remember that the open function returns one value which is the file handle which we have named file underscore obj here you can give any name to it and this file object is used to read or write the file and this reading or writing is again performed by different functions that are provided by the python programming language in the input output module so we will study how to read and write in a file once you have opened it but as of now you must also understand that the file object has other functions also so once you get a file object for a particular file that you have opened you can use that file object to access basic information about the file so if you uh, write this particular code the name of the file object dot closed so this uh, code when you execute this will return true if the file object if the file associated with this file object is actually closed okay so in python whenever you need to work with files you first need to open the file and get a file handle associated with it and then using that file handle you perform all the operations and once you are done it is a good practice to close that file using the same file handle okay and closing that file will just stop any kind of further access to the file unless you reopen the file okay so file object can be used to check whether the file is open or it is closed so if the file is open then this particular statement will return false otherwise it will return true okay now you can also act set you can also see in which access mode the file has been opened so for example you opened a file and then you cannot just find out or remember in which access mode did you open the file did you open the file for reading or for writing or for both operations so you can easily find that out using the file object dot mode statement and this statement will return the access mode in which the file was opened okay so the next function the or the next statement that can prove very useful with the file object is that sometimes we create so many file objects and we open different files in a python program that you actually forget that which file handle is associated with which file so uh, to get the name of the file with which this particular file object is associated you can write the statement file object dot name and this will return you the name of the file with which this particular file object or file handle is associated okay 
Now, two important points that you must remember uh, with respect to the open function is that sometimes it might happen that you have uh, you try to open a file that does not exist. Okay, in that case, the open function will not give you any error. Rather, it will create a new file which will not contain any contents. It will be an empty file and that file will be given the same name that you have specified in the open function. Okay, so uh, uh, if the file does not exist, the open function will create a new file, give a name to it that you have specified and return the corresponding file handler to it for that particular file. Okay, and also while opening the file, you must take care that the file name that you specify here must be a complete path to that file if the file that you are trying to open is not present in the current working directory so if you have written a program in say a c drive of your system and now you're trying to open a file that exists in the d drive then you need to specify the entire path the exact location on your system where the file is present you just cannot just specify the name of the file okay so uh, be very careful consider and remember both these points while opening the file and in the next video we will study what are access modes and how you can use different access modes with the open function while opening a file so that's all for today if you like the video please let us know in the comment section below share with your friends until we meet in the next video mind your exam